Good morning, Reefers. I'm Gang from Coralus, and this is another Mistake Monday. And this mistake is a doozy. It can cost you a heck of a lot of time, especially if you're a newbie trying to tackle a project and you've never done this before. And you're like, yeah, PVC, I can glue that. It's not a big deal. And so you go to the Home Depot, local Lowe's, whatever it is, and you pick up some parts, and you're like, yeah, I'm going to do this. So first of all, somebody else who thought they knew what they were doing did this too. And I'm just busting their balls a little bit, but seriously, bulkheads have to line up. I mean, you can put pieces together, but if the threads don't match, what the heck is the good of it, right? So I want to save you guys the time. Always check your parts. If you're using some old equipment and you're trying to replace it with something new, and you go out and you buy one of these unions or something, and you realize the new threads don't match the old threads, or they're metric versus standard, um, that's a problem we always have to deal with. But I just wanted to warn you guys, always check your stuff before you glue it. I mean, now this has to be cut off, the pipe's gonna be shortened, I have to put in another sleeve so I can extend it, so I can make sure it's okay. Um, and also, some of you go out and get your purple primer and all that good stuff. This is an all-in-one, it's clear, so you don't have to mess with that ugly purple color that gets all over your pipes. So this is some new PVC cement that I picked up. I'll be trying that as well, but there you go, Mistake Monday, check your pipes. If you're going to glue something, make sure 100% that the parts fit together, they're the right length, and give yourself room for it to slide in. You can see inside these collars that there are a little notch where it'll reach, and that's as far depth as it can go. Also chamfering the edges to make a big difference. If you cut a piece, and depending on what type of tool you use, if it's really sharp, make sure you take some sandpaper, knock those burrs down. That way it'll slide right in and you don't get it stuck. Also test fit your parts for proper size before you put them together. You just don't, once this glue is on there, you can't really wipe it off. You don't want to have to go through the mess and hassle of recutting, remeasuring. So measure twice, cut once, assemble once, do your homework, do your research, think about everything before you do it. Try not to ever rush. This hobby, haste makes waste. So, thanks for watching, and as always, happy reefing. Until next time.